this gigantic weird looking thing is a food dehydrator. If you've been following us, you know that we are spending the year not eating anything from the grocery store except for salt. And so we're serious about preserving food. This is overkill. It's over the top, it's expensive. It took a lot of time and precision to build. And we're not usually the type of people to follow plans, but we saw this in action at a friend's farm in Romania and it worked really well. So we came home and made one ourselves. Um, if I haven't said this already, the plans are free online. You can just Google Mother Earth News solar food dehydrator. Some, some like Votech engineering kind of teacher had his students try out all these different things and tested it and this is the best. It's been around since like the 60s. And this is how it works. There's this screen here. So air comes in here and it gets heated up under this chamber, which has a plexiglass cover that keeps, you know, if you fall on it, you don't break your skin, get sh shredded. Um, and as you know, heat rises. So it's causing constant airflow. The air comes in here and there's these little doors up top with more screen. The screens, you know, keeping out insects. And this is just causing a constant flow of air and the hot air comes up here. This, is the part where the trays are, where the food is. And this is really cool for a couple of reasons. One, the food is never exposed to sunlight. So there's no like vitamin degradation from light exposure. The food doesn't get bleached. The quality is excellent. Um, and then that moist air is constantly flowing out the top here. There's 11 of these trays. These don't look like a lot of space, but it's deceptive. These are 14 inches by 20 and a half. So that adds up to 22 square feet. That's bigger than a four by five table. And the thing I kind of like is there's 11 of these little trays. So you can organize your food. You've got a tray for your sun-dried tomatoes. You've got a tray for your squash. I just made, what's it called? Vinegar and salt cucumber slices dried. You can dry green beans and store them, you know, in, in quart jars and put them in roasts or roast stews in the, in the wintertime. You can dry carrots. Of course you can do herbs. Herbs will dry in here in like a day so fast. Um, if it rains, it doesn't matter. The thing works really, really well. So if you're wanting to ramp up your game and, and really get into dehydrating food without running your electricity, this thing works. Oh, we've done pears, loads and loads of apples and pears. It works fantastic. Food doesn't get moldy. I love this thing. So if you're into it, it's totally worth checking out.